To start off today's talk, I want to show you some funny pictures. Failed. Another failed. And more failures. <laughs> Look at the gentleman. He looks so happy. And then look at the uh, ladies there, they, are, they look so happy too. But actually, they are all failed. <laughs> <laughs> they all failed. So um, I call them happy failure. And it's a part of my job to produce happy failure every day. So um, I run a company called Scrap Entertainment. And we produce a live game called Real escape game. Has anybody played our game before? Ooh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, great. So let me introduce our game for those who are not familiar with it. So real escape game is a live game where you'll be locked in a room, and your mission is very simple: find the clues, solve the puzzles, and Find the key to escape, and you have 60 minutes. Sounds very simple enough, but our game is known for its difficulty. The success rate is around 10%. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, since 2012, after I started the company here, we've, we've had over 170,000 people played. So which means, um, over 150,000 people are failures. <laughs> but they keep coming back to our game. Why? So today, uh, so the real escape game uh, has many uh, aspects to uh, make that game. But uh, I want to share three things about why they can be happy even though failed. That's my topic today. <laughs> this is what the game looks like for the, those uh, not familiar with it. So difficulty of 10%. Most of our game is very challenging. Um, actually, our first room game, uh, it, it was located in this building at the third floor. And then that got the lowest success rate. It was 2%. Uh, to be honest, it wasn't my intention. It was lower than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't mean, I wasn't evil that much. <laughs> but um, when we opened the room um, at the first week, we didn't have escape team, anything. The second week, second week, no week, no escape. And the third week, we finally had one escape team after we had 40 teams. <laughs> they were dancing when they escaped. <laughs> And then I gave them a big high five, and I almost felt like that I wanted to have a party with them. <laughs> it took another two weeks to have uh, another escape. I watched uh, many, many failures. Now, while I was watching many failures, I began to realize that they looked so happy even though they, escaped. Uh, they couldn't escape. And then I figured out, so the 10% the lower success rate, it's a good thing. Because you can imagine, if the success rate is around 50 or 60 percent, you may be embarrassing about it, or you may not want your failure to your friends on, a, on the Facebook. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, because the majority of you will be failed, you can safely try without any embarrassing. So we should rather try a difficult thing. It's easy to choose or try an easy one that you can see your success. But uh, if you try a difficult one, you can be free from fear of failure. That's one thing. The second topic is that emotional roller coaster. What is it? We designed the game with certain plot of how you feel your emotion. So at the beginning, you are very motivated. So there are many things you can do, like uh, finding clues or solving many small puzzles so everybody can contribute something. But at some point, you'll be stuck. 
<laughs> you think that you can do anything. You cannot do anything. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, so very frustrating at the time. You don't know what to do. But you will eventually, eventually discover the missing clue or the something that you couldn't figure out. And then the game will move, uh, move forward again. Also, uh, we will help you if you suck too much. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a hint. <laughs> but anyway, so the excitement, <laughs> the excitement will reach the climax at the very end, towards to the end. And then you will discover uh, the final twist or all the clues that you have seen fall into one piece. It's kind of hard to imagine without actual play. So let me give you some example. Like, um, there are, are you solved 10 puzzles before you, st before you stuck? And then you found one clue, and then, but you cannot figure out. You cannot solve the puzzle with one. And then if you see it differently, if you see with a different perspective, and then you will realize that you can use the information from the very clue to the 10 puzzles that you have solved. And then you see that secret, a se hidden secret to, that leads you to the next step. So we design the game like that. <laughs> In your real life, we all have a hard time sometimes. We cannot, it's not avoidable. It always happens. And not always, but it sometimes happens. <laughs> <laughs> you feel as if you are at the very bottom of the sea. If you believe you can overcome that, and you will realize that the lower you are, the happier you will be later, mm. as you can see the chart. Mm. That's the second topic to me. The third topic is about frustration. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> frustration. Frustration is usually a very negative thing that you don't want to have. Of course, I don't want it, usually. But we incorporate that feeling to our game design. How to do that? Uh, as I said, the gap, the gap between the bottom to the end will give you a more exciting moment, as I said. And another one is that um, when you fail to escape, I said they are happy even they didn't escape. Why? Look at the photo again. <laughs> <laughs> they are happy, but uh, as you can see, you, they are frustrated as well. Because, of course, because they wanted to escape. So uh, at the last 10 minutes, our game, in our game, the last 10 minutes is always intense. As some of you, you know, have played, no. You realize that you are close to escape, and, but you cannot escape. I mean, 90% of people cannot escape. But sometimes a miracle happens at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen many times that the player, one player found a very clue, a very answer, while the countdown, like a 10, 9, 8. Yeah, it happens. That's the time that you became a hero. That's a true adventure time. <laughs> but even you didn't escape. You didn't escape because of the last moment was so intense. And you know you, was, you got so close, and you know that your teammate did their best. Mm. So that's why you feel satisfaction. Mm. And this is important. Uh, our game is just a game. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a game. And more importantly, you can have next game, mm. next opportunity. So I said, when frustration and satisfaction and aspiration to the future, when they all come together, it transforms to the motivation. Even our game is just a game. In our real life, we have a tendency that uh, there is no next time sometimes. But however, we always have next time as our game. So I think if you think that way, we don't need to be afraid to become a failure. If you enjoy your t 
time you have now, you can forget to be a failure. And if you think you can be a happy failure, it's very good because you can be happy anytime. Thank you.